Well, good afternoon, folks. It's Paulie from Biking Life, and here we are on another ride home in miserable, miserable wet weather. It has been lashing down all day long. We haven't had a let up, and if we have, it's been for a 30 seconds to a minute, and then it's just hammered it again. Yes, it's uh, the wind's picked up. Hey, it's still 10 degrees, but uh, yes, what a miserable day. I just thought I'd bring you along. On I've got actually got my waterproof uh, one-piece suit on. Now they are a pain in the bum to get on, especially when you've got your textiles underneath and stuff like that. And uh, you do get warm. And I mean really warm, especially when you're putting them on. But I will say, once they're on, you are cosy. And I mean cosy and all. I uh, use these, actually, in um, the ride home from Scotland. And we rode home in torrential rain. And... Um, Hang on, folks. Let me just get out here. Yes, we rode home in torrential rain. And they kept me bone dry. I always carry them on the bike for some reason. Well, just a bit like today, really. You just don't know, do you? And... Uh, I thought, sorry, I'm going to put them on, even though my textiles are waterproof. When you're getting pelted constantly by rain, doesn't matter how good textiles are waterproof, the rain will eventually get in. But this stuff, thankfully, keeps you relatively dry. Yes, as you can see, it's commuting traffic. And it is still raining away. But we don't care. I have to say I am absolutely as warm as toast. I really am. So this kind of weather doesn't bother me in the slightest, not in that respect. It's different when you're not prepared for it and you are dressed in clothes that are wet through and you become cold. Then your experience can become absolutely miserable. And when you're the colder you get, the, the more you lose your concentration, don't you? And it isn't good at all. So I'm not doing any detours at all tonight, folks. I'm just going to make my way home. As you can see, there's no point detouring making any detours at all because of what we're facing at the moment we're getting quite a considerable amount of uh, spray off the cars as well well you can imagine that can't you but due to red's big screen here i am still riding with the helmet in the open face position because i'm not feeling anything below the visor so I'm not getting any wind or rain, so it does afford me quite a, a generous amount of protection, really. But this uh, this one piece, I've got to say, is an absolute bargain. I got it off eBay, and uh, I've worn it twice now. This is the second time I've put it on in horrendous conditions, and I have to say I am staying as snug as a bug in a rug really warm and toasty it's keeping all that horribleness out yes the visibility isn't too clever is it especially with all this spray but we don't mind I can see enough that I need to see and I'm keeping my distance as much as I need to keep my distance giving myself plenty of room to stop just in case 
I need to. The only consideration you've got to take into account is I'm coming up on a car here and uh, whether he'll pull out or not is another matter because he's closing in on the other car who is now braking and that's the only only thing you've got to really watch out for cars pulling out on you which lessens your braking distance considerably so yeah I've got me uh, new touring boots on which are waterproof I've got me waterproof gloves on um, I have got both my textiles my iris T which are waterproof and then I've got the waterproof one piece on so I'm you know I'm relatively uh, dry and and really really warm but it's not too bad when you want to go out and ride in these conditions because what you have to remember is when you're going touring, especially if you're going touring for what, say a week, there's nothing to say that you're not going to face these kind of conditions on the roads that you're out. So you need to be fully prepared. And I have to say, I, thankfully I am. So there's never going to be that issue with me. I did have a, I've just replaced my boots which, well, I've replaced them, but I haven't got rid of the other ones. They'll come out in the summer, you know, when I need to, when it's not uh, raining, because they were developing a little bit of a hole in the stitching, but I've sorted that out. I won't tell you how I've done it like, but it's, uh, it's done a good job, let's put it that way. But these two reboots I got, they were a bargain. And it's a bargain, one of those bargains that you can't let go past. You've got to take it up. You've got to, you know, you've got to grab it while you can. We aren't bothered about a bit of rain, are we, folks? Hey, we're getting out there. We're doing our bit. I'm making these videos for you guys. I'm enjoying making these videos for you guys. I don't mind facing all this weather. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. We've got a Toyota pulling out, so we'll move over this side. Uh, that uh, woman I watch, Itchy Boots, she's not really, she's absolutely courageous in my book, but she rides in all weathers, and I mean, there's nothing that she won't ride in, whether it'll be hot or cold, raining, snow, she's ridden in it all. So we've got an ambient temperature of 10 degrees. It is quarter past four, we're on the parkway which is the A174 and we're heading home. The wind is really bad. I don't know how much you can hear that, but it is relatively bad. I'm looking forward to getting in and out of this weather really. But it makes it even more enjoyable when it doesn't matter what the weather throws at you, you are still warm and you are still snug on your bike. So for me, it's no different. I'm quite happy to ride in this weather all day long. The only downside to wearing this one-piece suit is getting it off and on. And especially if you really need to go to the loo, Yes, they afford you 100% protection and keep your bone dry. But by God, when you need to go and you can't, and you just see your hands are cold, which man aren't, man are really warm, and you can't undo zips and things like that, you are going to suffer big time. <laughs> I honestly remember when we were travelling in this weather and um, we pulled up at the service station and I was desperate to go. What a bloody palava. Now that for me is the only drawback to these one piece suits. Yes, they are fantastic. Yes, they afford you a hell of a lot of protection. And uh, they guarantee to afford you more protection than a two piece suit does. The only convenience to a two piece suit is that you can 
get to the toilet rather quickly without having to mess about. Oh dear me, that wind is horrendously strong. We have got some 40 plus mile an hour winds here. Uh, combine that with the rain and the spray off the roads it makes for some fantastic riding it shows you what we're all about we have true grip me and this boy well it seems to brighten up a little bit here tomorrow's forecast is okay up until about two o'clock in the afternoon uh, after two o'clock we are we have a 37 percent chance of rain that's tomorrow, so me and Reddell will be on, our, on the road again tomorrow, as usual. They're a nice lead on that round. It's a big enough roundabout to get a, a lovely... Oh, see them white lines there? Came across, you know when them arrows tell you? The arrows on the road. I felt the back end just slightly slip there on those white lines they are lethal it's bloody awful I know they serve a purpose but by Christ they're not micro friendly at all should be made out of grippy stuff really these white things here as you can see them the bloody lethal especially when you're leaning into a bend not too bad on a, a summer town when it's bone dry well, here comes the rain folks oh this is beautiful it's raining it's pouring the old man is snoring but we don't care do we red no we don't care we are literally in our element enjoying every second of this I must admit I really am actually all joking to aside I am actually enjoying myself to me it's no different than riding in the drive I'm going to see if I can snip through a couple of these people And we did. Big red strikes again. That's what I like about this. You're never really stuck. There is the odd occasion when you are. It's a rarity though. And that wind is bloody horrible. You know, I'd rather face a downpour of rain than wind wind is your worst nightmare because it can force you into oncoming traffic if it's blowing hard enough thankfully it's only about 40 mile an hour gusts which don't really bother the big fella but it is where it is and we shall continue but we have no bloody choice <laughs> we don't know oh, I could see a slight a light bit of blue sky over there that's good isn't it yes I made the video this morning which you'll have seen yesterday and uh, it was raining again then but since that video it's never stopped raining Do you know what I mean it's been constantly at it We are making steady progress, folks. I don't know why. This is a 60 mile an hour road yet to slow down to 35 mile an hour. Uh, my understanding of that is... Well, I just can't understand it. Simple as that. They're over-cautious. Yes, it's blowing a bloody hoolie now. The, the winds are getting stronger the further home we come. Hey, 
Anyway, folks, I think I shall leave it there. Um, hoping that um, the weekend will be a lot better for us. And it, it is, I checked the forecast, like I said I was going to do in yesterday's video, and it is looking cloudy, but there's no rain, but there is some black clouds, so knowing my luck it'll pour down, but we will get out for a ride out, and I shall be able to bring you a weekend vlog, which is better than just my route home from work and stuff like that so anyway i shall leave it there folks and i will say i've been poor from biking life folks bye for now folks bye